Om Shanti, today is the 142nd day of your Godly blessing. And in today's blessing, God is reminding us to become Trikaldashi. Trikaldashi means to remember the three aspects of time. When we arrive at Brahma Kumaris, we get to know the knowledge of the three aspects of time. That means our own many previous births. God has said in Gita, Bhagavad Gita, that O oh Arjun, I come and tell you about your previous births. Nobody can tell us about our previous births. Even if you read any of the scriptures in the world, none of the scriptures will ever tell you that how many births have you taken. So if those are God's versions, then what about your previous births? Have you known that? If you haven't known those previous births and what you have done in your previous life, then now is the time to realize it and understand from God's own direct pure versions about a previous birth. So when God tells us about a previous birth, then the wasteful thoughts in our mind they come to an end. So let's understand what Baba wants us to do and what he wants to say regarding the Trikal Darshi or the three aspects of time. So in today's blessing, Baba says, May you transform your wasteful thoughts and sanskars by being Trikal Darshi. May you transform your wasteful thoughts and sanskars. Sanskars means habits by being Trikaldashi and become a world benefactor. Let's get into details of this. Baba says when you become a master Trikaldashi, that means you have known what you have lived your life as in the golden age on earth when Bharat was Swarga or we call it the kingdom of Lakshmi and Narayan or Radhe and Krishna. So that is a time when everybody was peaceful, everybody was wealthy and healthy and peaceful and loving and kind towards everyone. That's the time when God had sent us souls down on earth and there was heaven on earth for half the time of the complete cycle. You'll understand what I'm talking about only when you come into the seven days course about this half the cycle. So 2500 years on earth was heaven on earth and the remaining 2500 years has become hell on earth now. So where are we living in? Are we living in heaven or are we living in hell? If you look around yourself, then you will see there is no good health in anybody's family. Nobody is healthy at all. So if that is the factor which tells us that whether you are in hell or heaven, then I would say that we are in hell right now. Because death comes to those in heaven who are completely in connection with their mind and they can leave the body on their own. But death comes to those in Kal Yuga who don't have any control over it. So that is one of the differentiating factor that people leave their body without knowing. Suddenly they leave their body. That is sudden death. But in Satyug or Golden Age, there is no sudden death. Every soul is in control of their death and their birth over there. So we are in Kal Yuga right now. So Baba says, when you become a Master Trikal Darshi and put your thoughts into action, so when we come to know about our previous births, we know what thoughts do we need to create right now in this birth itself. Then none of your actions will go to waste because we are very careful about what the future lies ahead for us and what we have to become in the future, what God wants us to become in the future. So we are very careful about what thoughts we create because thoughts lead to actions. But before that, there is attitude, there is character and many more things which come before you take that action. So Baba says to transform anything wasteful and have powerful thoughts and perform powerful actions is called the stage of completion. So what is it? For example, if you remember, God tells us in Brahma Kumaris that in golden age you were wealthy. So in this last birth at the end of this complete Ghor Kali Yuga or extreme Kali Yuga, if you look at others, you might get jealous. But if you remember, you become Trikal Darshi, you remember your complete lifespan which you spend on earth, you'll be like, why should I compare myself with others when I have been so rich and wealthy? I am satisfied and content with what I have right now. So that makes you peaceful. And you can then tell others also about this and make them also peaceful. Let's say you feel lonely. Why? Because in Kal Yuga, people respect those who have got money, wealth, fame and name. And nobody gives you any respect. But then God tells you or reminds you that my child, in the golden age, you were in the kingdom. You had your own kingdom. You were a king over there and you have taken many births and you have lost that kingdom over a period of time. So why do you compare yourself with people over here? Why you feel lonely over here? You were somebody who was very wealthy 
and who was somebody who was very very popular at that time and you don't then compare yourself with anybody over here anymore you don't feel lonely because you realize that this is a time to be connected to god and you're at the end of the play when you're at the end of any play even in a movie you don't go and start meeting everybody everybody meets over here together that is the end of kali all the souls are over here you're meeting everyone but at the same time you're getting ready to pack up from this stage and go back you don't start new relations you don't start new talks you don't start new ventures you are happy with what you have so god reminds us that at the end of kaliyug be happy be content and be in my connection don't try to create new connections and make yourself heavy and when it comes to health at the end of kaliyug nobody is physical body is 100% healthy that is the fruit of kaliyug so god says remember trikaldarshi when you were very healthy when i sent you on the search five elements were healthy and you were in golden age because five elements were healthy so your physical body which is made up of five elements was also very healthy that's why it is said kanchan kaya for that means very beautiful body for the deities of the divine beings so you were a divine being when god had sent us on this earth that is we recognize that once we do the seven day course about our previous births so baba says remember that you had a very healthy body don't try to compare your body with others don't be body conscious and look at others features or others others physical beauty or handsomeness and feel sad about it you were very beautiful in golden age so be happy be content with what you have right now this is also a gift this body has been given to you to be in tapasya with god not to look beautiful or to earn any name and fame through your physical features so so many things we can think about once we become trikaldashi there's so many different aspects to which you will learn when you come to brahma kumaris but what god wants us to do is he wants us to make ourselves stable so that we can not just make ourselves only stable but help other souls also to think on these lines and make their mind peaceful so then let's go ahead let's understand what baba says more baba says you don't just have to burn your wasteful thoughts and sinful actions which we have done in the past you also have to become an embodiment of power you become powerful when you think like this right what we've discussed couple of few seconds back and lighten the burden of the sins of the whole world because people in competition comparison jealousy because of not knowing about the previous births they are creating new sins and they are getting into new greed or new uh, possessiveness about things or their property or their looks or their relationships and they are doing more and more sins once we give this knowledge to others or you listen to this knowledge you become more and more trikaldarshi and you become peaceful and content with what you have so then baba says that burden on the sins of the whole world and speed up the machinery to finish the waste thoughts of many souls people have waste thoughts of comparison people have waste thoughts of being discontented with their life they always think about what if what if that person did not do this in my life i would have been blessed what if this person wasn't in my life i wish i was not born in this family or i wish i was not in this religion i wish i was not in this country and people have so many waste thoughts for which they are saying i am not happy because of these conditions but baba says when you give this knowledge they enlighten themselves they recognize their previous births they recognize who they were and their waste thoughts and their sins reduce and the whole world's waste thoughts reduce then so baba says of many souls you have to remove these waste thoughts and only then will you be called a world benefactor so we can become a world benefactor once we don't just focus upon our own weaknesses and waste thoughts and keep busy in removing them but we also help other souls to remove those waste thoughts so first of all come over and learn what exactly is trikal darshi the three aspects of time of our many births on this earth a past life and present and what is going to be in the future life that is what is revealed at brahma kumaris i wish for you to come over there and learn this beautiful knowledge have a blessed day stay safe stay home om shanti Thank you.